Now let's talk about technical communication. In technical communication, in any form of communication, you can kind of think of it like an engineering problem too, right? We have some current state, and, uh, which is the knowledge of your audience or uh, your own personal knowledge or uh, something like that. Basically, you there's a, a state that is um, you know the knowledge of the group that you're trying to communicate with and you want to by communicating with them take them to a new state whatever your goal is what do you want them to know after this transaction is completed and the challenge is figuring out how do we take the steps to make sure that all the audience members all the people that are uh, interacting with your communication get to the intended goal state that you set out right and this can be really challenging so here are some guidelines uh, the starting point you always want to figure out exactly where your starting point is this is often uh, really challenging and it's important and a lot of people skip over it they just assume either they're similar to what they are their their selves or they know nothing which is both in the first in the first case it's too little you're going to end up communicating too little information in the other case you're going to end up communicating too much information you also want to know who is your audience right who are the people that are going to be listening what are their backgrounds what are the, what is it safe to assume that they already know the if they already know something don't explain it again it's not it's a waste of everybody's time so part of this uh, communication is you want to make sure that you're being respectful of everybody's time that you're getting direct and to the point for all of the the people uh, that that you're communicating with and most of all why should they care about this right you want to uh, make the case as part of your starting point uh, what uh, uh, why they should be listening to you and you know maybe it's partially these are your credentials, this is your experience, uh, some of it is what benefit is it going to be to them for them to listen to you or to read whatever it is that you're generating, right? So for example, uh, let's talk about uh, a project that I'm working on, right? So right now I'm working on something called Project Valerie and it's a chat bot for my students to interact with and get kind of a unique customer interview experience so basically I'm developing this chatbot and we're going to uh, deploy it with my students and that way they can get used to interviewing a customer uh, at the start of a project right so I've got two audiences that I want to communicate with uh, my first audience is other engineering professors principally other engineering professors that are here at ASU and for them the starting point is uh, depending on what uh, class they're from um, they or what what department they're from they might have not the same technical background so they might not have the programming background or anything like that but for these other engineering professors I want to focus on the pedagogy of, of why we're doing this to advance the um, sort of learning of our students and how I'm going to structure it around you know uh, things like that so I know that these professors have a background in technical information they um, are are focused they they care most about teaching uh, and they care sort of little about the technical or overarching uh, implementation def details and but maybe I want to talk about those things too so so uh, depending on who they are they I might want to include those pieces right so those are what my audience is here my second audience is the administrator so there's people that are paying me to work on this project um, for them they carry little about the uh, technical aspects so I might skip over that entirely uh, besides to say you know I'm using the Watson framework and I have it set up on a particular server somewhere if they want to go and try it out and that would be as much as I say about the technical parts I might talk about the um, uh, a little bit of the ped pedagogy in terms of like what are the learning goals that I hope for this but I'm not going to talk about sort of the ins and outs or going around the uh, exact assignments and structure of the learning experience I want to go high level administrators want uh, a little detail about what they matters to them and what matters to them is are we making progress on the project uh, is the how am I going to measure my success on the project what is the sort of uh, project management structure that I'm focusing on and that's what I would talk to the administrators about so now that I know where my starting point is let's think about the goal right and the goal is what do I want my audience to know what information do I want to communicate right and I want to make sure that you're aware that this is audience centric this is whoever is listening to you or reading whatever it is that you're producing right you want to convey 
information to them. You don't want to sort of show off what you know, right? We're not here to, to demonstrate, uh, for most technical communication, you're not here to demonstrate what you know uh, or, or to, to show off your own skills. You're, you're here to focus and communicate information that the audience doesn't yet know, right? So you're trying to get uh, a, a new, present them with new things, things that are interesting to them, right? Uh, and what do you think your audience is going to care about? What is their focus, right? What, uh, what is the most valuable parts of the information that you have available to convey? And so let's go back to Project Valerie. Again, for the other engineering professors, the things that are going to be most valuable to them is the structure of the assessments uh, and what interacting with the chatbot is like uh, and what the outcomes of these things are. Are my students learning things? Are they going to be able to... Um, uh, are the other professors going to be able to implement this in their own classes in an easy way? What tips can I give them that uh, will provide guidance if they want to implement this in their own way? Uh, for the administrators, again, they want to know, uh, I want to communicate the structure of the project, how progress is. They want to know, uh, is their money being spent well? Right. So I need to know I need to communicate the goal. My end goal is to communicate the details of the project and uh, from a project management point of view and make sure that they feel like uh, enough work is being done and we're demonstrating good outcomes and learning a lot about this particular process. Right now, there's a gap in between these two things. Right. So we've got our starting point. And we got our ending point where we want to end up. And we want to get there in the most efficient way possible, right? So the the tone, the general tone of how you uh, communicate this information should be professional and it should be direct, right? The kind of communication, I'm doing technical communication right now. I'm trying to be as direct as possible. I'm giving illustrative examples, but try not to be too long-winded. I may not be succeeding at that, uh, but I want to make sure that, that I'm going straight to the information that I think will be most valuable to you, not necessarily what what uh, I I think is necessarily even the most interesting like I might talk about some weird pedagogy or psychology thing uh, if I was really talking about stuff that I was interested in but I think what's going to be valuable to you is what I'm presenting right now um, trying to avoid being too relaxed or too informal right you don't want to uh, necessarily be too friendly or informal or anything like that you want to get to the point you want to be professional when you're commuting communicating technical information uh, and you want to avoid I think students uh, statements the um, uh, so these indicate opinions right when you're communicating technical information you want to demonstrate what you know and how you know it right back up uh, any uh, uh, true statements you have with uh, either experience or data or something like that, right? You're trying to prove and show something when, in a high quality way to whoever it is you're communicating with, right? Uh, you should follow a structure like this, the abstract body and conclusion or ABC uh, structure, right? And the idea here is the abstract is a, it sets the stage. It's a um, real short summary of what it is you're going to talk about and why your audience should care. It should hook them and get them involved. It should be very short. Uh, if it's written, maybe a paragraph or two. If it's an oral presentation, maybe the first 30 seconds to a minute is, is where you're going to convey, this is what I want to talk about. Why should you care about this, right? And then the body is all the details, right? And it's the the sort of uh, structure of how the informa how what information you need to get them all on the same page. Um, again, more about why they should care about it, re-emphasizing that effect, that uh, point, and uh, giving them as much detail as you possibly can in the constraints of the presentation, whether it's an oral presentation or a written presentation. And then finally, the conclusion is what again why you should care about it. Summarize what you just talked about, what the overall effects are, if there's a call to action, something for them, uh, the audience to do next. That's the uh, point to give that is during the conclusion, right? Uh, as you're conveying this information, be aware of jargon that you're using, right? We're engineers, we have tons of technical terms uh, and things like that. If your audience doesn't know what those are, um, try to define those uh, early on and avoid saying like, 
something is defined as something something that's really really boring for people right so providing context clues or just a quick explanation of what you mean by a particular word or a particular term is a, a good idea and there's a bunch of knowledge dependencies right so you, you may not want to go straight to um, a, a highly technical uh, point without building up some background as to why you took that particular path or uh, something or what the benefits of the particular uh, choices that you made in your design or something like that, right? You want to uh, convey your design decisions and justify them as much as you are trying to show how you got to, uh, as, as much as you're trying to show where you got to, right? So you want to try to tell a story of your own path on uh, whatever the design or technical implementation that you're talking about, right? But again, leave it out if you think the audience isn't going to care about it and try to avoid uh, opinions of what you think. You want to critically compare things and show uh, how how it's it's true, right? Um, multimedia is something you should always include in your presentations. It's extremely valuable. Spending the time to do a multimedia presentation, lots of pictures, lots of illustrations, graphics. This presentation actually isn't a great example of this uh, because there's a lot of text and a lot of uh, specific points that I wanted to get to. Um, but uh, the spending time on good graphics and illustrative things is, is going to help make your presentation uh, take your presentation up to the next level, right? Um, when you use multimedia, you want to try to draw attention to important information using either motion or uh, bright colors or uh, bold lines or things like that, right? So rather than just having everything be uniform and the same thing, whatever is most important should have the brightest color, the thickest lines should have, uh, should jiggle or wiggle or something like that, right? You want to draw people's attention to it. And then in the presentation itself around this multimedia component, you want to draw attention to the most important parts of it relevant to your audience, right? So whatever you think is important, uh, you want to talk about that part the most. You don't want to talk about everything else. You want to focus again on what you think the audience is most interested in, right? Technical communication as a whole, whether it's oral or written, is an incredibly valuable skill. Uh, doing it well will take you a lot farther uh, with equal engineering skills than somebody that's really bad at technical communication. It takes practice to get uh, get through uh, a lot of it. We're going to be doing a lot of it in, in uh, this course sequence so you can get a little bit under your belt and, and get some feedback on how to make uh, your technical communication, technical presentations as high quality as possible.